didn't announce it, didn't really plan it, so let's give everybody just a second to uh, get the notification, because I know YouTube can be slow. Don't see. Oh, looks like we've got a couple people pouring in. Hey, Cody, son, how are you? Glad to have you here. Let me close my notifications out. There we go. I appreciate you showing up. There, people are rolling in. Sean, double OTD, glad to have you. Don Gallagher, how's it going, buddy? Glad to see you. So, I've got a lot of stuff to unbag. I probably won't stream through the entire unbagging. Um, but I do want to walk through and kind of show you guys everything that we got. Lots of bags. Um, not a lot of casualties. I did end up, looks like we lost two of these guys, which <clears throat> I couldn't find my bags. And you'll see the chaos in the other fish room of me trying to find my bags at 3 a.m. before leaving that day. Um, so kind of had to go with how they were bagged and what they were bagged in. Um, but other than that, we lost two of those, and I lost, uh, I think, three Bashir. So, not too, too bad for everything we got. Uh, GRB Aquatics, hey, g'day. Uh, Zen Ginger with the $2 super sticker, the red arrow, she is here. I appreciate you, Zen. Cherry Kramer, hello. Um, let me give it just a second. Looks like we got 14 people in here. Cody, so thank you for the reminder to hit the like button. Um, and then I'll give you a quick tour, show you some of the stuff that's in the other tanks that can be a little more easily seen. And then I have a surprise for you. Miss Fever is going to tell us about her cichlids she got, show us what she got there. That would be the stuff from the auction. The other stuff was things I picked up during the show. Uh, there are a couple auction things in other tanks. Right now everything's kind of going in a today home where it will be safe and out of the bags. And then tomorrow... I will get some stuff sorted around um, and get everything placed. I've got a lot of tanks that I can use. I just need to get everything kind of moved. It looks like we got 15 people in here, so I'm going to start out in the hallway, I do believe. There's Miss Fever trying to run away from the camera. And again, not all this stuff is going to go together. Some of it's going to go in, hang on uh, breeder nets for the night. And before anybody loses their mind, yes, I know this is a breather bag, but I'm temperature acclimating, so don't freak out. I didn't have it like covered in water and all the things you're not supposed to do with the breather bag, but I needed to get them temperature acclimated. Of course, most of these are not going to be colored up very well because of all the stress from the weekend, but those are some Cobra Guppies from Mike Howe at the Fish Tank Barn. And I also got some of his Snowcross Endlers. And I've got seven pairs of the Albino Platinums in there. And then I've got some of the Fish Tank Barnes Turquoise Guppies. Everything should be about the temperature, so. We can start unbagging soon. But, and again, they're not going to have the best color now with everything they've been through this weekend. But it's still pretty nonetheless. I'll come back and do a follow-up later on when everything's had time to settle in a little bit. Uh, let's see, what do we got down here? Do you want to pull your phone up so you can look at the chat? Because it like instantly disappears when I'm streaming from my phone. These are... Let me pull these out. Gotcha. So these are those cats, the stinging cats that I got from the uh, auction. That was one I got at the auction for myself. Whereas most of the stuff is for Miss Fever. I'm gonna let her get past so she can get her phone and she can keep an eye on the chat since it disappears so quickly while I'm live on here. And then these little guys, this was just from a, a table I kind of bought out at the end. I just had them labeled as whisker shrimp, but they came as part of buying out the whole table. So I think I've got six or seven of them. They, they almost look just like ghost shrimp, but they're, they're slightly different. They're not 
ghost shrimp, but I'm not entirely sure. I've not ever seen whisker shrimp before. But either way, just something that came with a big buy. And then, yes, I know, another breather bag. Hey, hey, Rack's in the stream. Hey, Rack, how are you doing, brother? I hope you enjoyed your event. These guys look really, really black, but they're actually a super dark um, green jade neocaridina. You can kind of see the green coming through. Mike's so. in here. Hey, Mike, I was just showing off the fish I got from you. Um, Pepline Creek Aquatics. I, I did make sure to pull your uh, information off just in case. That way that phone number shared to the whole world in case it was, you know, I know it was on the bags for whoever bought it, but just in case. So that got pulled off. Um, we'll end in that room. I've got a couple more things. Actually, I've got a lot more in the hall still. Sorry, there are bags everywhere. I don't even know what the count ended up being on bags. Um, let's see, whiskers, green jades, the stinging cats. I'm going to let her slide by me again. Sorry, you're going to get some funny, like, stand shots and shots that are not all pretty and whatnot. But I'm tired and I really want to get this done, but I wanted to share because a lot of people want to see stuff. And sleep. Hey, Dan, how's it going, my friend? Recon. Recon, good to see you, brother. Larry D, thanks for more. All sorts of cool people showing up. Looks like we've got Scott uh, Backer, Tracy Cookie. So these. There's Pam. Hey, Pam. Are some plecos I had never seen before. I can't think of the name off the top of my head at the moment, but I did get three of them. They should stay really small. Um, I've got some nano tank ideas for them. And then on these shrimp. Yes, I know they're a caridina. Yes, I know they require softer water. I'm going to do RO and remineralize for the time being. But I needed to get them some temperature acclimation going. So we've got about 30. We've got 30 plus of the black bees. So if I can get you a decent shot on them. There we go. A Peplin Creek Aquatic. Hey, Peplin. How are you? There's one of my little baby, baby cherries. It's just, this is one of my cherry shrimp tanks. I've got a pair of Bushino Super Reds, which it seems weird I would go to the fish show to get those, but you really don't get decent Super Reds around here. Normally they're just more like a mixed darker albino. So it's much easier to get those there than try and order them online and get them shipped and whatnot. I think that covers everything in the hallway. Let me see if I quit. There we go. Now I can see the chat again. It looks like Pam's trying to steal somebody's TP. <laughs> so these are from AB Spartan Aquatics. Um, these guppies are. And yeah, a lot of random stuff, but I wanted to just shout out to them. They hooked me up on some stuff. Um, and I've got to get with them and work out a schedule and whatnot, but they actually have said that they wouldn't mind coming on and doing a live with us. So, I think that'll be pretty cool. Alright, so, you're going to ignore the mess I made. Yeah, you're going to ignore the mess I made at 3 o'clock in the morning trying to find my bags that I never found. Um, so here is the canister filter I won from one of the raffles. I put one ticket in for a buck and won that one, go figure, um, which is great because we're going to add that to her cichlid tank um, to give it some extra filtration until I can get everything properly set up. Uh, let's see, just a bunch of plants. I'm just going to get those out of bags and tossed in some water for the night. That's the tank that I escaped, what, it kind of got flipped around and whatnot. I'll get that set up tomorrow. That is going to be the uh, hey Moonstone. That's going to be the tank for the uh, black bee caridinas. So uh, I think that's going to be really nice. And with 30 of them, I should get some good breeding going um, and start getting those around here locally. Lots of stuff that I think we're going to be able to get some decent breeding going with um, and kind of bring those down to this area. That was one of the big things I wanted to do was find some stuff that wasn't either locally available or was extremely expensive locally available so hopefully we can work on that 
We got some panda angels. Guys, I want another shot of your guppy tank. Another shot of my guppy tank. The mutt guppy tank. Well, if you want a really good shot of this tank, you can check out, and this is my shameless plug, the the long 40-minute video I did about rescaling. It was this tank. Because I had people ask for some longer videos. So... Or do you want to see the guppies that were bagged? Hold on a second. Let's see if I can get the chat. Uh, Tiffany says, what kind of guppies were those? Uh, the ones in the bags or the ones in the tank, Tiffany? Oh, yeah. And that tank, uh, Moonstone said, uh, bought that exact tank when I got my shrimpies. Love it. And the price was right. You got to take that tank and everything in at home if you paid the $50 to enter the Aquascape contest. Which, for anybody that follows Chattanooga Ed on Instagram, he posted a picture. Chattanooga Ed took first place on that. So, congratulations to him. It was awesome. You may have seen in the live stream the night before at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I called it. I said Chattanooga Ed was going to win that. And sure enough, he did. So, I'm super proud of him. Uh, that was another awesome win for the team that we brought home to the YouTube family. The new guppies. What? The YouTube family. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. Well, I mean, you got like, you know, all of us and the team. Can we drop the YouTube? So, these are the albino platinums. I said YouTube, not UT. Okay. Most of the people up there weren't even from Tennessee. Why would I say UT? Because Ed? Ed's not a UT fan. Right. Um, but those are the albino platinums from Spartan Aquatics. And then I've got Mike's guppies here. I've got some turquoise. Can't really see through the net, unfortunately. And again, all of these fish have been through a lot, so the coloration is not great. But even with all the stress, look at those guys. So cross endlers in that bag. Some nice cobra guppies. Oh, and I had um, some of Mike's fish that are in the other room. And again, yes, I know it's a breather bag. I'm just temperature acclimating right now. They will be fine for the time being. But I actually did get a drop. Um, it was this one, Mike. I got a drop on these guys. Not going to show up, of course. But you might see one or two little ones swimming around in there. So thank you for that, buddy. Uh, Ed is still driving. He's probably getting close to home, but he's still driving. He might have just gotten home. Um, it's been a little while. Uh, oh, I still have more angels to show you in there. Sorry, there's lots of bags of fish, and I'm really tired. Um, but I have to do this anyway, so I figured I'd show you all. A lot of people were asking. So, got pandas to go with that one lonely panda that we've been trying to find some friends for and again not all these fish are going to stay in these exact tanks but we're putting them in safe places for the night to get them out of bags and into some good water miss fever was nice enough to do water changes earlier today in preparation on a lot of this stuff some of the stuff i still need to do top offs on but then we got this pretty one right here he was kind of the last fish in the tank when i was going around trying to snatch up tanks of fish um, and he was in with the pandas, so I ended up getting him for a really good price. Let's see if I can get that light to shine off of those scales. So, some more angels to add. There we go. Hey, Blake, glad to see you. And what do we have over here? I don't even remember what I put in here. Oh, we've got that noid because I couldn't resist. So he's a bit small right now. He's going to hang out in here until he gets a bit bigger to go in with some of the big guys. Um, let's see. I think that covers this room. Uh, well, for any of you, the plant nerds, some of this stuff still has names on it. There we go. From a Ponte Geaton. And a lot of the plants are from one of the tables. I just kind of walked up and said, it's about time to go how much you want bought everything out some bulbitis right yep bulbitis 
nice big piece of bulbitis. And we've got a couple things of baby tears. We've got some more baby tears also. Um, what do we got here? Some sag. Yep. Hey, fish tank barn. What do you say? I did that. Uh... Oh, yeah, the trophies. That's right. Well, see, and I kind of have a personal rule. Like, if Ed bid on it or if Mike bid on it, I refuse to bid on it even if I really wanted it. Um, and uh, that neither one of them were outbidding me either. So I think that was just kind of an unspoken courtesy between us. Uh, yeah, Moonstone said that auction was uh, was an auction to die for. I had a blast. That was my first fish auction. Um, and I had fun giving the... Uh, well, giving the club a hard time, so to speak, but also supporting the club in the fact of buying the fish. So it was really fun. Um, you know, a couple people <clears throat> seemed a little upset. They didn't win, but that's going to happen at any type of auction. There's the, the big tank full of bags. We'll get to that one. So I've got these guys. Now, one of them, I think the other bag. Yeah, so one of the black pelvis got to fix his mouth it was actually like that at the event but I didn't want to stress him by fixing it and rebagging him so uh, Mike says uh, fish tank more and I put a limit on myself my limit was making sure Miss Fever was delighted enough to not give a crap if I went to more fish events so <laughs> that was like hey I'm gonna buy my way out of uh, trouble just in case there is any so as you can see, we've got to fix his mouth. It's stuck protruding open. But I didn't want to stress him with all that and then rebag him and have him sitting and traveling and all that. So I will fix that. I don't have my gimbal app actually on, so it's not auto adjusting there. Um, we've got, I think, 10 of the uh, Bashirs made it. Bought out a tank of saddle Bashirs. Don't see them a whole lot here in Knoxville, so I will keep a couple and then I will move a couple along to my buddies at Aquatic Marine probably so that we can get those kind of out and in the area. Was that uh, $3 from the fish tank barn? Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Uh, says I need to get you and Ed up to Michigan. Dude, that would be awesome. Um, I'm hoping to start doing some more traveling and whatnot. And actually, while I've got you right here, again, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Not required, but really awesome of you, my friend. What was this one? A strand red, I think it was. Your double swords. Let me get them up here. Some of my baby bristle nose have decided to make a home on the uh, bag as it's floating. And again, they're super stressed, so you're not going to see great color, but even with the stress, they're looking good. So what we got? Let me get back down to the bottom. Good night, Selfin. I appreciate you hanging out with us. I hope you have a great night. Um, hey, Supreme Gecko. Glad to see you. Strand Red Double Sword. Okay, so that's what those were, ladies and gentlemen. Fishfoot 57, hello. So down here, and again, for anyone just joining, all of these fish are not going to stay necessarily in these tanks. We're just trying to find them safe homes for the night so that we can get them bagged. Uh, we're getting into cichlid territory. I don't think I've got, oh, I do have some shrimp. Let me see if I can get this gimbal to work with me since I'm not actually running it. Hey, there's some green water, you green water nuts. Some orange neos. And then they could not get the little stragglers out. So there's like a blue in there that I've got to snag because this is strictly for my oranges in this tank. So we're going to add them to the collection. And then I think it's just on to cichlids now. So for all you cichlid fans that hate that I never do cichlid content, and all you people that are always asking to get a oh, video here, from Miss Fever, here we go. All right, camera work time. Because I was, everybody has what all we have, so. I was told recently I need to spend more time shutting up and holding a camera, so here you all go. These blue guys here are the electric blue Joani. And then this is my sunshine that was running away. 
that's my blue dragon's blood. And then we got the OB peacocks. I forget what the blue cap is. Sue me. The strawberry. That one is a hat 44. It's pretty rare. You got Big Frank over there hiding in the corner. Because just the a reminder, you, you can never mix any other area with African cichlids. <clears throat> yeah, okay. And then right here is the Mylandia Aurora. I really love him. He's super cool. And I think that's everybody. All right, let me see if I can get the chat pulled back up. Oh, we got the rainbow shark in there too. Hey, Lane, been glad to see you. Uh, Edward, hello. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of bags, a lot of bags. Yeah, we um, pulled the French hose out. And in so case anybody was wondering, I unbagged the Bashir quicker than the others because I did have, uh, it looked like three that were dead. Um, one of them I managed to save, the other two not so much, so did unbag that already before I started this. But Oh, because somebody's going to ask, the blue dragon's blood is the dominant male of the tank. There you go. Um, you want to tell them what's in here and then we'll move to the massive um, cluster bagging? Over here, there are... I don't know if you can even see them really. Here's... Let's see, there's the little female Betta, which I forgot about when well, we put I'm these in, in here. Like these right here. Yes, yeah, she should be oh. okay for the night though. She's, she's fairly um, mean for a female. Yeah, that's true. I don't remember what these are. Um, I thought these were... Yeah. Yellowheads? I think yeah. that's what they were. Yeah, Bay Yellowheads. Yeah, that's Sweet. the same guy. So there you go, Nakata Bay Yellowheads. Of course I grabbed the one that's still double bagged to try and show you. There we go. And again, I know they'll get much better color in. So this is the only other fish that we lost any on. We're gonna let everybody just listen real, real, real hard and you'll hear Mike yelling the names of these for you. Um, <laughs> and if he doesn't, I'll come kick him off the stage and take the mic. What would that be? Panga, Tana Forest, Otter Point, six of them. Yeah, so we lost two of those. We so lost two. Four fish total, and including shrimp and everything out of everything you've seen coming from Maryland to Tennessee over a several day event. I don't think that's too terribly bad. I think that's everything for this. I think that's another one of the uh, yellow heads. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, my regal blue hybrids are hiding. Oh, so it looks like uh, Mike did deliver all that beer on his way in and he is now a saint to his neighbors. <laughs> they gave us probably 200 beers. We're like, here, nobody wants these. Y'all take them and nobody wanted to drink them out of the YouTube group. So they went to a good cause. They went to Mike's neighbor. There's the ruby red. A lot of ruby reds. I think we ended up with like 14 ruby reds. Probably, probably going to set up the 72 bow front tomorrow to move all the ruby reds to it. I'm probably going to mess this one up, but Fuko Spectabilis? Like I said, probably mess that one up, but even stress color, he's super pretty. Um, let's see. More ruby red. Show us a red. couple of them if you want. If you see like well, some that are here's bigger, a female. You can see she's trying to get her color back. Uh, these are all kind of pale. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that ruby red. There's you. Some coloration going on. There we go. 
and that is a male. Um, ruby red, ruby red, ruby red. Looks like that's all that's over here. She's not happy. <laughs> Um, this guy's really nice and colored right now. Um, these might correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are the cares list ones. Trying to get them out the bag wrinkle. That light gets just the wrong spot. Hey, Danikin. Appreciate you hanging out with us. UPS or I see people saying hello. I'm sorry I didn't see you come in. He's really but pretty. I, He's I'm, a midnight blue. Yeah, I'm almost positive the Pindu were the uh, Carisless fish. And then here's a couple more of the Otter Point. You can see they're coloring up better than the other tank. Uh, Supreme Gecko says, question, now that you are home with fish from the auction, do you wish you would have bid one more dollar on. The franchises that he didn't bid on? Well, I'll tell y'all a secret for anybody that doesn't know. I bagged a lot of the fish from the auction because they needed extra hands and I could bag a lot quicker. Or I catch rather, I net, not bag. I could net a lot quicker than they were able to get the bags ready. And I just didn't really care for the fronts. Then we have this guy. Well, what's with this guy? Um, I can't actually read the handwriting, so... Hey, Jess, sorry we didn't get to see you there. Looks like I it did might double say... check and I didn't see you were live before I went on, so hopefully you were not, because I couldn't find it if you were. Might be Kyogle Florida? I don't know, I can't really read it. Yeah, oh, Mike, I agree. Fish Tank Barn says, I think so. I really wish they would have put the whole name on the bag. Um, but I, I think at one point I literally had... 30 to 40 fish bagged, or not bagged, netted and in collection cups hanging, and they were still trying to write names and lot numbers, so I understand. Hey, wait, I can read this one. Plague the flame tail. tail. There we go. This is the female, and this one is the one we got the reverse trio on. Yeah, so we've got two males and a female on those. So. This is the female. Um, I'm still thinking about what I would have bid a dollar more on. Honestly, there wasn't anything I wanted that I didn't take home. Like, that I was like, oh my god, I want that. Or that I thought she would want that. I just want to show this guy again because he's coloring up really nicely. So this is the ruby reds when they're... Well, he's not full colored because he's still a little stressy. But you can see how pretty they are. This is the male. And I believe that is everything. I think so. Um, if you all want to see some fish go into tanks, we could do that. Or we can cut it right there. I think my battery's still good. I had to do some charging before I could oh, go live. What's this? What's this tucked over? A ruby red female. Thank you, uh, Kim. I appreciate that. I'm super excited. And I know she is, because I, and Susie Q, if you happen to be in here or see this or you're just lurking, thank you for filming that, because it was great when she asked what she got. I could send her to your live stream video, and she got to rewatch that, or watch the replay and see what uh, she won. There was a couple squills. There was a couple times where I touched you a little bit. So am I, I'm safe. I'm not in any trouble. I can go to more fish shows. As long as I get a Blue Frontosa, we're good. Blue Frontosa. All right. I remember that. Good. Mr. Zen, thank you for the 10 bucks. I appreciate that, buddy. It's good to see you. It says, charge your battery. Yeah, so I plugged my phone in, which, of course, has a, a battery attached to it. And I woke up this morning, and they were both dead. So I don't know what happened, but nothing charged. Um, and I was... Oh, Henry is not happy. Going to charge in the truck on the way back, but Ed was running the GPS navigation. And I didn't feel like trying to dig out a second cord. Um, from my bag traveling down the road. So I said, eh, it'll be okay. I had no plans to do any videos tonight. Thank you very much for the $10, Mr. Zen. 
Um, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, red front toes, it's on. It may have blue one. Yeah, she does have a red front toes. She was very adamant we removed from this tank before we add all of these guys. Um, yeah, so I want to go over to these calvis again. I don't think I've got yeah anything else that was the shrimp. Uh, Nightbot, hush and be nice. <laughs> so for anybody that missed the first part, these are one of those that is for her, but I really wanted it, even if she didn't like them. When I was netting these guys, I was like, oh my god, I love them. I'm going to start working on unbagging and get his lip fixed and get him in here. Um, I'm converting you. So, for those of you that are going to go, oh my god, what about quarantine? In case you, first off, you know, I am, thank you for deleting that Zen Ginger. Beat up Nightbot. Uh... Of course, I, I am a, a big fan of quarantine. Sometimes situations like this, it's not necessarily going to work out. But of course, given as many tanks as I have and as many fish as I've bought, I've got plenty of medications. I'm probably just going to do, maybe not necessarily a med trio on everything, but I at least go through and dose everything with general cure and then see how it progresses. Maybe some uh, ick -X. Uh, And Ed is not going to give up his ribbon, Priscilla. Ed is super proud of that ribbon. Like, of everything we packed in the truck today, I think he would have rather his tank hit the ground than that ribbon get messed up. So, good luck getting that away from him. Super awesome, super proud that he won that. Um, let's see, he won that. Um, I think I bought all the fish from the auction-ish. Yeah, I got a large percentage of it. Um, I had the highest bid on the silent auction that we did for Ohio Fish Rescue to raise some money, so I was super proud of that. Um, and excited because we got a good good amount of money to go towards uh, Big Rich, the Ohio Fish Rescue, for their medical needs. Um, and I'll tell you, it, it was really cool. I came back over to look at the tank after it had been won at the end of the silent auction. And unfortunately, I didn't have a Sharpie, but the lady actually asked me if I'd autograph the tank. And I was like, let me try and find a Sharpie. So that was a, a very cool mo moment. Uh, if you happen to have found the channel and you watch this, thank you for that, ma'am. This is the Jacob Freebird. The Freebird Freebird guy. whatever. Freebird yeah. Freebird guy. The Otter Points, but they're coloring up really happily, so. Yeah, they're starting to look good. Um, do you want to start? Uh, well, Priscilla, I, he did. I'm going to let Ed talk more about his victory next week. Um, but I told him it's kind of like I won the um, the popular vote and he won the electoral college because the night before you all were nice enough to vote in the chat and uh, hands down voted me the winner. So I'm going to take that win as well. I'm going to start unbagging these. All right, she's going to start unbagging. Do you want to do the plop and drops? You want me to do the plop and drops? I'll do the plop and drops. All right, she's going to do the plop and drops. Oh, oh wait. Knife. Knife. And again, apologies for the uh, this, ow, disaster in the fish room. Didn't cut myself, pinched my finger trying to get my knife out. Um, I was looking very hard for my bags and stuff to take with me. Could not find them. And so, let's see, another question. Any fish in the auction that you were surprised were in the auction? Um, a lot of these cichlids, and I know they're common in other places, like Mike was like, dude, we have a lot of this stuff in our local area um, but a lot of this stuff we don't really get in our our area or it's so ridiculously expensive that I these it, ruby reds here so here are about forty dollars each yeah so at this size. so that is not necessarily a rare but for coming from this location um i consider it almost a rare if you will um when you can get you know, six of them for 60 bucks or 10 bucks a piece or 15 bucks a piece even. Uh, the, I, li I love the Karis fish being in there. Again, the uh, black calvis was one that I thought was really awesome and I didn't expect to get it for what I got it for. Um, so I was really happy about that. I was kind of surprised to see some Tetras. They had, <clears throat> as you all saw, a couple types of Tetras. Ed got those because I was not about to bid against Ed. Um, Especially since I didn't have guppies for him to bid on. Uh, but 
trying to get shots on the uh, fish going in. Oh, there we go. And fish again. So I, I guess the one that surprised me the most was the leucistic that they had. And Mike, you'll probably remember better than I what leucistic that was, possibly. Uh, yeah, Mike, the fish tank barn says, I thought those calvas were going to go for 250 I think I got them at 100 if I'm not mistaken. I know I really didn't go much higher than 100 on anything. Um, but it might have been 110. But I, I know that it was nowhere near the 250 or, you know, way up like I thought they would be. But uh, the leucistic trio that they had, I think, was probably the neatest one. Because, again, it wasn't an albino. It was an actual leucistic. So, or as as the former auctioneer said, the leucistic, or leucistic, I forget how he said Lukistic? it. Leucistic? He might have said leucistic. All I, mean, I, all I, I know is Lukistic, that, so. that he got uh, bombed and removed after he had given Mike crap for <laughs> uh, messing up a name, if you will. So, and Mike, again, I, I told Mike this already in person, but kudos to you for handling that the way you did. You're a better man than I, um, because you kept your cool about it, and I thought that was oh. awesome of you. Oop, oop, oop. We're leaking. Uh, I don't leakage. know that Haley got the eels. I'm trying to get to it. There's not a lot of room at the moment. Took up the back of most of Ed's truck. Uh, Sharissa Cookie says, that guy is now YouTube famous. Yeah, absolutely. So. Look at this one. Look at the color it's got already. Oh yeah, super pretty. There we go. There he is. You gotta keep an eye on Henry right here. Oh, I love this. Is, I love Henry. This is Henry. Yes, I named my fish. No, I'm not sorry. Henry is the boss of the tank, as you can tell by his gorgeous colors. So. Got to keep an eye on him. Make sure he's not feeding them up as they're going yeah, in. He's, he's spinning circles, checking what's going on. Uh, yeah, I, was, I wasn't going to say that, but uh, Mike Fish Tank Martin says, funny yeah. part is that he might be moving to my area. So that would be funny if he moved it to your area, Mike. Yeah, and actually, Supreme, it was uh, four black calvis. I've got to get, I've got to fix this guy's lip. Right there, when I get him out of the bag. But again, I didn't want to pull him out, stress him by popping that back in, and then bag him and have him going in the car. So, but I'm loving those guys. They're going in this tank. They're going in my 90 for the time being. Looks empty right now, but that's because the Bashirs are hiding. For those of you that have seen my old videos, while well, she's getting some of those unbagged. And remember how little bitty those ornates were when I got them a couple months ago. That's how big they've gotten in just a few months. And again, that's a 90 gallon. So that's 18 from the front to the back, 18 inches. And that's not even the biggest ornate. You can get Felix, show them Felix. Felix yeah, I don't know where Felix went. Felix is the big boy. Oh, you can kind of see Felix back there. Not with the glare, you won't be able to. So, you can kind of see him, but he is, really big and he's golden but yeah I'm, I'm loving those guys what you got coming out of the bag for us uh, another ruby red another ruby red I was actually just unbagging the ruby reds so y'all weren't missing anything actually that's a lot I unbagged the uh <laughs> could to refer to that guy as fish shake because he loves shaking fish around yeah Gimbal Look keeps it. trying to auto correct. Look at her now. red. Oh, yeah, real pretty. There she is. I'm trying not to keep them out the water. Oh, for no, too absolutely. Long. And if I can get behind you, I can probably. I'm trying not to, like, when you lean up, get your face on in the camera, and you're like, why is my cheek the only thing in frame? <laughs> After the fact. And this is with the lights off. This oh, is. Oh, this guy is really special. That's the Pat 44. As far as rare cichlids go, he's one of the rarer. He's not super rare, but probably the second rarest one in the tank. Oh, 
so there it went down toward the bottom and away it goes finding its friends <laughs> Mike from the fish tank barn says the temptation is real to make a cartoon out of him for my next love Dale. I vote do it and yes just shrimp granny shy is doing a great job she's doing a wonderful job um, you know it's She's what keeps this whole thing going. So, you know, without her support and approval. Oh, look at this guy. And well, it's a girl. Look at this girl. There you go. You know the unbagging is serious when you have to use a tote instead of a five-gallon bucket for the excess water. We got another ruby red. Yep. This one looks like it's trying to gasp for air, so I want to go ahead and get her out and in. Yep. Go for it. There you go. Oh, this is the one that we're going to have to get on camera. Look how pretty he is already. Let's just get the glare. Let me open. Around. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we'll take a quick peek when you get him in the net. Okay. He's got gorgeous coloring going on already, so I'm very excited. Come on. I'll shake. There we go. Look, Holly. The reds and the blues are already popping on him. He's going to be uh, absolutely gorgeous. Hey, Lumpy Dog. Sorry, I didn't. I keep missing the chat because I'm on my phone. Uh, but Lumpy Dog says, Fisherman Fever are the new acquisitions for display or breeding. Uh, both, both, I would assume. She would be the one doing the cichlid breeding if that's going to occur. Because I'm going as, to get some sand in here as soon as possible because my female OB in here has this has started to show her breeding signs and chasing my male. So, hopefully I can get them all going. That would be the ideal goal. And I didn't get a whole lot, so to speak, necessarily. I got a lot of different shrimp. Um, so yeah, I definitely am gonna start breeding. Uh, and I mean, they should do it all on their own. Oh, look at this girl. Uh, this is the brightest girl I've seen so far. Those Black Rose Caradina, I'm going to breed them. Uh, I said Black Rose. I forget who it was that said Black Rose. Now I'm saying it. The Black Bees. Um, because those are fairly pricey around here, so I'd like to be able to offer them more affordably. Beautiful. Um, to some people. And then, like the Green Jades. Um, of course, I'm adding the Orange Neos to that breeding colony of the Orange Neo Caradina. Uh... I've got now the saddle advisor, so I'm going to keep several of them. Which one of them's out and about? Let me see if I can get you a shot. I'm going to keep some of them to do some breeding and get the rest down to the LFS so we can get more of those out in the area. And that, like, that was one of the big things. One on the auction, I wanted to get her some nice cichlids and some things that we don't really have a lot of access to at a decent price here. You want to try to get and it? And thanks that. I mean, they're kind of all over the place, but everybody's yeah. swimming and happy. And again, the light on this tank is not on. That's just the light from the uh, room. So, not great on the color. But I'll get another shot with the light on and all that good stuff. Probably tomorrow. Well, I said everybody's Look happy. Henry's not happy. That That's pretty. I love it. Henry is not happy. All right. All right. What? Do. What I'm probably going to do, this one? if you're good, is put this on the tripod right here. Wait, this and, is a new one. It's not okay. the uh, Yeah, Sean says they need to invent no glare bags already. Absolutely. This is the hairless? Uh Dragon Lair says, Fish Room Fever, you must be monetized pretty good to afford all those fish. No, nope, God, I wish that that um, was the look, case. Look, look. Um, that midnight blue. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Um, 
but no, that, that's not quite covering this. I appreciate all the support, and that did help, and that goes to things like, you know, when I was, you know, for example, the gift that I got to go get up Miss there. Get Miss Fever Tattoo Fund. Yeah, the Get Miss Fever Tattoo Fund. Um, $10 from Kim Moonstone says, Dragon, you are so right. Yeah, that, that definitely does help, and it goes a long way, and it's very much appreciated. Um, um, it was just kind of one of those things that I, I took it as vacation time, and so I kind of used vacation money, if you will. Um, so it kind of balanced itself out, so to speak. This is a plain tail. And while I'm announcing these, but okay, I'm going to need to because uh, Moon so says she don't play with that knife though. Uh, I'm so cautious with my scissors. Hashtag experienced. <laughs> yeah, she she does not play around with that knife. But I was thinking I can maybe set the tripod right here, and then I can get to work on these calvus. That way I can get that lip fixed and get them out of the bags. You want to show this one real quick? Since yeah. it's the flame tail. There we go. She's really pretty. Spicy. I like it. Or what I can do um, is, here, I'm going to go up and around you here. I'm going to get right in here. I'm going to set it up right here so it won't be like... All up in my face? Yeah, though? all up in your face. Um, hopefully it doesn't go in the water. If it does, Looks like the chat's about a quarter of the way to buying a new one at this point, so it'll be okay. <laughs> but um, that'll get you where you can show them in the bag, in the net. It's like anywhere from basically here to like there. So the area you're using already. Um, I'll get those calvus in and fixed. What did you say these were called? Um, those were the... Shoot me in the face. I don't remember. Uh, Pindu? Can do yeah, but you instead of four of them. Oh, they're on the cares list. There you go. Down a little bit lower, can like it. in here. Can I say yeah, it now? beautiful. So like I'm this gorgeous midnight blue. Uh, how do you fix a fish lip? I will try and show you that. Supreme Geckos has got a run, but congrats on such a haul. Thanks for sharing, Supreme. Thank you for being here, and thank you for the congrats. Okay. So let's see. Uh, yeah, Sean, I'm surprised you're not telling him how good Shelly's would go with the pelvis. Yeah, I know, right? Believe me, there were some Shelly's and it was contemplated and it would have been well worth it, but I was trying to only spend money on her at the auction portion because I had already spent a lot of it. And then after I get all of these guys in here, I want to do a full tank shot for you all. Just that. And there's another one of the really pretty midnight blues. Hindu. I don't know what y'all can see. I should probably grab my phone so I can kind of look to see what you see. So I might do that in just a second. There's that. I'm going to grab my phone to make sure I'm not completely messing everyone up. Okay. This is the one that I cannot read the name. It, I really can't read it. Very sorry. I'm trying to get it in the frame so you all can see if you can read it. But. It's going to be a really pretty baby. Pretty. I'm going to set this up here. So you 
screen and the chat. Oh, okay. There you go. You know I'm blind though, so. Yeah, you can at least have the screen. That way you can see when you're holding a fish and you don't have to kind of hold your phone too. And then these are the otter points. And I'm trying to get it out of the glare so you can see it. But they have some gorgeous yellows already, which yellow is one of my favorite colors, so I'm really excited. I'll try to show you these guys in the, uh, the next before I draw them in because they're just gorgeous. Real quick, you can see some of the yellows are jumping in, but they're super duper pretty. And then, looks like I only have this one back left. Can you double check? Henry's not happy with me. Oh, nope, we got a straggler. This is the flame tail male. I knew we were missing one. And he is absolutely positively gorgeous already. Try to get him up there. There we go. You can see he's got some really gorgeous colors already. I think you see good night, Mike. So, have a good night. Send me some bags so I can help unboxing. I would if I could, man. I would if I could. Quick shot in the net so you can see how gorgeous those colors are. Love it. And it goes. And that just leaves this bag of otter points. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have math skills, but you know, I try. So thank you. Quick shot of the otter points. As you can see, they got some really pretty yellows already. Put those in. And that is all of the cichlids. Quick double check. Yep, no stragglers. So, do you want to try to do the tank shot or you want me to? Uh, we can. All right. I'm going to do a tank shot of everybody in there. This thing is moving on its own, so forgive the wobbly. But... Ooh, I'm trying to steady it and it's not working. So sorry. That is everybody in there. And as you can see, some of them are starting to really color up already. And there's my big Veja in the corner. Like, what did you just do to me? <laughs> But, that's everyone. 
and I will make sure he does an update when they are all settled in and colored up. I'm very excited. Like, there is some gorgeous colors going on. Frank and Henry are not impressed. That guy right there is Henry. As you can tell, he's like, Mom, what did you do? But, I will make sure we do an update. Now, oh. yes, I named my fish. Yes, I do. No, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> I know some people don't get it, but it makes me happy, so. Fish room fever, I think, is going to show you all how to fix a fish lip. Uh, it didn't work. Oh. It kind of worked. But we're not going to mess with him anymore right now. Um, I'm going to give these guys a little bit of sleep. So... Uh, $20 from Mr. Zen. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, says, oh, hold on a second. There it went. Uh, now Miss Fever can get fish for, uh, get fish food for all the new fish. So there you go. That one was for you, babe. Thank you, Mr. Zen. Sure didn't miss anything else. All right. So, there are the calvis out of the bag, at least a couple of them. So basically, if you look at the, let me get my finger there, that the top, we'll call it a bar, but that top bone right there pretty much that runs straight back, it should slide back in there, it go back and forth the way that their mouth was designed. I was hoping that it had simply gotten offset and I could get it back in. I think that I can. Um, cause I, I kinda got it, it started to go back in, um, but he's just so stressed right now. I really don't want to mess with him too much more, um, because he's still swimming around fine. He can still open the bottom portion of his mouth to get food in there. Um, so I'm gonna leave him probably for a day or two, unless he starts to look really bad. Um, and then I'll go back at it again. So there are two of them, and that's not debris that's a lot of food what I did was I tossed some flake in there and some pellets to kind of get all the other fish distracted so they are worrying about that instead of the new additions uh, there's one of the other pelvis up there and the fourth one is back here there we go uh, Kim Moonstone, thank you very much for that. So, let's see, we have been almost an hour. I do still have a lot more to unbag if you all want to take a look at those, um, or I can kill it and unbag. I'm sure Miss Fever wouldn't mind to help out a little more with the unbagging. Um, I'm just waiting for you to tell me to. I'm like kitchen to do it. Go, unbag. Those are yours, anyways. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm going to set you up. You want the same spot and you can just pivot and rotate? Uh -huh. Then you can just go left with the fish and right to the Yes, sir. So there we go. And I'm sure you'll get to see it actually here. You get to see what, some it, fishes. Is all the fish here in Seattle? Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we made the other guys. So yeah. Yeah, it's just the yellowhead. Uh, Zen said I said go like he was letting a or like I was letting a greyhound out. When it comes to her unbagging cichlids, yes, pretty much. What? Zen said I said go like I was letting greyhounds out. <laughs> Okay, uh, these are double bags. I don't know that I'm going to be able to show you these. Let me grab another one. Uh, 
Here we go. You can see this one a little bit better. Maybe. These are Nakata Bay Yellowhead. Oh, there's Oddball. Hey, Haley. Yeah, Oddball. I gotta love all the hell you're giving him. Much appreciation to that, Miss Haley. This, this damn YouTuber over here is getting all these fish in the, the tank that the uh, auctioneer chick didn't want him to win. You know, Somebody those, please those, those stinking YouTubers. Now that was a for anybody that doesn't know, that was all fun and games with Haley. That was kind of hyping the people up, trying to get everybody going. You know, don't don't let this guy take your fish and put them on YouTube in a different state. So there's no hard feelings there. I had one or two people ask, and I was like, no, I was all fun and games. That was cool. Well, we spelled Haley four different ways, so which one is it? Uh, Haley is spelled D-R-A-G-O-N. Be careful, then. You are crunchy and taste good with ketchup. I know, right? Okay. See if I can get you a little bit better view. Maybe. No. It's not going to work for me. That's cool. Oh, you're yeah. usual then. Yep. Yeah. Carry on. Can you see him now? Maybe a little bit? No, not really. I'll do a quick shot in the net before I jump him in this tank. There he is. Oh, careful guy. Don't jump into this tank. You will be eaten. Maybe I'll show you one a little less hoppy. <laughs> uh, a lot of fishy fun. I don't know that we've done an exact count. But... Yeah, so how many more to go? Um, well, Fishy Fun 57 said, how many fish did you buy? Like actual individual fish? I'm assuming. I don't know. It just says how many fish. If you include shrimp, it's well in, it's in the triple digits. If you include shrimp, it's into the triple digits. Because I don't know if you can hear him. Uh, it's definitely close on just individual fish as well. And it's definitely close on just individual fish as well. It's just that the, the bites that you've got these. Can you all hear him? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. So he said just the bison and guppies probably put him close to 50. Plus all my cichlids. Um, this one's really pretty, so I'm going to try to get you a good shot of him. Plus there's the Guppies, the angelfish, the shrimp, the datnoy. No, sir. Okay, now that I got this guy in a single bag. Sam, he's so pretty. He has so much yellow. They're picking on me, Priscilla.
Well, I was going to do a tank shot on this one after I got everybody in, but they're kind of going in and hiding in all the plants. Oh, Fishy Phone 57 said he could hear you. Thank you for that. Didn't even know this office had got me in. I will try to do a tank shot after I get these guys in here. Um, but that tank has a lot of plants in it, so they're kind of going in and hiding. James talks louder. He's actually in the other room. He was actually talking from the other room, which probably surprised his son to hear him. Imagine me being loud. That never happened. <laughs> Like a whisper, hello. Last of the yellow heads. Nakata Bay yellow heads. Trying to find you a good angle. Maybe. No, it's not going to happen. So sorry. Haley was an awesome auctioneer. very entertaining to watch even not being there. Alright, so that's all of those in. Some of them are hanging up at the front here, so excuse the mess while I try to take you over there. There's the yellow heads I just let loose in there. And then and there are the stinging cats from the auction. Super cool. Like There's also my Regal Blue Peacock mixes. Oh, there's one. He's still a little bitty guy. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. No, doesn't look like you can see him. But there's six of those in there. And then, of course, the plecos and stuff, but these are the ones that I just let into this tank. Uh, the guppies up top, I haven't shown them. Um, yeah, here you go. This is pointed down, and I'm short. It's not actually hooked up. Oh, oh, oh. Still short. Still short. So again, these are the strand red double sword guppies from Mike at the fish tank barn. Really great fish. Look at those guys. And girls. And babies. Beautiful fish. And see if I can find one. Looks like the cats went into hiding immediately. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I just saw some mom movement. No, not going to be able to find them. All right, let's see if I can find the chat again. Um, 
Fishyfun57 asked how long do I think the fish were bagged for. A lot of the fish got bagged right before the auction started, which would have been last night uh, around 6, 5 to 6. Some of the fish were bagged before they got like chipped in and came straight from those bags. Um, so no telling on those, probably overnighted I would guess to the place, so maybe 12, 24 hours prior to that. Um, some of the fish I rebagged, but because I didn't have all of my bags, I couldn't rebag everything. Plus, that would have been a lot of time, and it was already like two in the morning when I unbagged or rebagged the stuff that absolutely had to be. So some of it, uh, like the the vishers, I rebagged them this morning. They actually spent the night in like a, a seven or eight gallon fish bowl that I bought there. Um, so they were only in there for maybe ten hours. But some of them 10 hours, some of them, who knows. Okay, there we go. Now it's back on. All right. Now my phone's going to get mad at me that I just turned that back on. Looks like the stream is still going, though. Um, I've got a lot more to unbag for anybody that wasn't here at the beginning. They're the black bees. They are a caradina. They're not going in this tank or in this water. That was simply for temperature acclimation because the bags were getting kind of cold. Got these plecos here. A pair of super reds. And a bristle nose. But I'm going to get some more stuff unbagged. Don't get the angels. Yeah, the angels. Do you want to go and bag the angels? Then we can show them. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, I can't get to my chat anymore because the uh, gimbal is saying there's been water detected and unplug it. My phone, I think, should last, at least for a little bit. So there we go. Uh, I may have to end it soon, though, if my battery dies out on the phone. Since I didn't have it fully charged and ready to go for this because it wasn't really planned. Um, here's what we'll do. I'm going to give y'all a good tank shot for a minute. We're going to unbag a few more things and then we'll show you those. Yeah, especially because you can see them starting to color up now. So, it's fine. Uh, that's not going to want to act right. There we go. Ish. Balancing act here. Uh, Moonstone says hashtag unplanned is the best. Uh, honestly, I've got to agree. Like that uh, 1 a.m. live stream with the two guys from the club that just happened. That was really going to be a five minute video of me showing you the uh, suite that they were letting us use with the massive shower. And it turned into an awesome interview because they just happened to come in and be willing to do it. And those are really great guys. Shout out again to that club. I'm going to go plop and drop a few things so I can show them to you real quick.
All right, didn't want to leave this bunch unsupervised for too long. Lord only knows. And half of you got wrenches that are nuts, so. Got most of the hallway unbagged. It looks like Miss Fever is manning the chat. I should have known it would be thank you for that. So, there are seven pairs of platinum albinos. Not as pretty as what Ed's got, but it's going to be a while before I can get any from him. Um, still beautiful fish, though. Beautiful, beautiful fish. But Ed will definitely take it as a prettier. Here are the turquoise guppies from Mike at the fish tank barn. I know you're not going to be able to see them great through the net. Let's see if I can get you a shot. Of course, I won't be able to see if I'm getting you a shot, but I should be since the camera's over it. Uh-huh. There we go. Look at the top view on those guys. And they just came out of the back. Let's see. All right, I'll just catch him back up on the chat. And there are the Cobra Guppies from Mike again. Fish Tank Barn. I think I heard he was going to bed. I'm not sure entirely, but thank you either way, Mike. Loving these guys. Let's see if I can get you a top shot on to see them through the net and then these are the snow cross inlers snow cross inlers from mike the fish tank barn and the gimbal battery has now also died because i was trying to plug my phone in and charge it as well but even just now coming out of the bag still beautiful color on them um not got these unbagged yet Let's see I did get the quote-unquote whisker shrimp out, if I can find any of those. Let me see. I'm looking. Oh, oh there's, there's one. So they, they look like a ghost shrimp, but if you get really close on like the structure on them, I, I don't know. But anyway, they came as part of a table buyout that I did, so they're in there. A lot of white stuff, albinos and whatnot, in this tank. And there are the green jades, which look great, but you're not going to be able to see them too well. They're in there for the time being. I'm going to get them set up in their own tank tomorrow. I almost have a little bit of blue in this light. And I think we should go look at some angelfish. Check the chat, make sure I'm not missing any questions. Um, oh, and here are the orange Neos. I haven't got them in the tank yet because there are like a couple blues in there that they just, they couldn't get out of the collection box. So they're like, do you care if they go along with it? And I'm like, oh, that's fine, I'll take free shrimp. So I've got oranges to add to my orange colony. Do you want to unbag the angels? Your yeah. pandas? Yeah. You want to bring them in here and unbag them and run them back? Um, or? You can, or ugh, I keep forgetting my gimbal battery's dead. So, you can, if you want to. Okay. Or we can move the uh, other stuff. Um... Yeah. Uh, Priscilla is asking if after the stream we can watch her uh, video she just uploaded. Absolutely, Priscilla. Uh, if you even want to drop a link or if one of the other mods wants to drop a link, love to do that. I'm just kind of showing tanks at the moment. 
Um, I've got about a dozen Tetras in here that I need to get out. This was actually a quarantine tank and it went in water, which is fine. That one was already green water. Okay. There we go. Yeah, if you, um, I'll come back and get a tank shot of them after they get in there. I should have some baby angels in here. Not gonna find them until they get bigger. There's green water. There's some black water. It's not as tan as it was. It's random guppies. Give you a little random fish tour since it's been a while while we're waiting. Uh, this is one of the things that surprised me with the auction. If I can find one, they're probably toward the back. All right, you got it. Yep, go ahead. Just, just push me out of the way. Yep. Go I've in. got some ranger plecos, which I've got another one in here. I think they went for like 50 or 60 bucks a piece. If anybody here from the auction, is it that? If anybody is still in here from the auction, you can uh, remind me. I know it was a bit pricey. Yeah, I know my camera shot's going horrible. My gimbal battery died, so. But I gave like 14 bucks for these guys when they were little bitty babies in my LFS. So I was like, oh, I could get a couple more. And then they went up there. I was like, no, they still have them for like 15 bucks. So that was one of the things that surprised me. Uh, yeah, my phone will cooperate with me. Absolutely. Gimbal, I should say. Yeah. And I'll get another shot once they're in the tank here in a second. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and head that direction. Hey, all <laughs> these are out. The mix is oh, hey. and one Nice. These guys decided to come on out and say hello. And again, I know I've said it several times, but for anybody that has joined late and is freaking out, going, oh my God, you're putting, you know, all of those fish in X tank or all of that in X tank. A lot of this is just for the night, finding them safe places to get out of those fish bags and get in some good clean water. Some of that is a regal place. And so not all of the fish will be staying in the tanks that you see them in. Or the black calvis again, since we're uh, going past them. My phone must have zoomed in because it got grainy. Oh, there we go. That digital zoom gets grainy. So let's go look at some. Wait, wait, this guy never got his close-up. He needs a close-up. Oh, I'll get him when you put him in the tank. Uh, Dragon Lair, I sweat okay. angels. Uh, I got her four more pandas. She's like been dying for more panda angels. And then we got one, uh, I guess, pearl scale as part of a tank buyout. There is one, if I can get the uh, scales on it, if it turns the right way, it's so shiny it doesn't really want to pick it up, but you get the idea. There we go. And then there's one of the new pandas. One of these was already in here, that may have been the one that was already in here. She could probably tell you. But there's another panda. So she's now got five pandas. Got two more back there. I'm going to get run over. Drop the bat noise. That's fine. I need to clean all this up anyways. Is he out? Pretty good. There he is. There's the bat noid. Behind the angelfish. He's little, so he's going in here for now. Um, once he gets a little bit more size on him, he'll move up into one of the other monster grow outs. I'm trying to get to the chat and I hit the zoom. Wow, that zoomed in a lot. <laughs> My fingers are wet, so it does not want to cooperate. There we go. Uh, hey, Mark, plus Pleco Whisper, glad to have you. Oh, that's why Dusky's blushing. She's super rare. You don't see them in the uh, aquarium often. Oh, I saw a highlighted comment I'm trying to get to. 
Uh, oh, uh, Moonstone, Kim says, thanks so much for sharing Fish Room. We all wanted to see this so much. Yeah, and that's, and I appreciate that you all wanted to see it. Um, but when I got to thinking about it, I'm like, man, it's, it's late. I want to get these fish unbacked. Sorry, I'm trying to get wet fingers and touch screens don't work the best. But um, I knew that a lot of people wanted to see the unbagging, so I figured we'd go for it. Why not, right? I appreciate you all showing up. We've got 39 people currently watching, 42 likes. And um, several people, Mr. Zen, Mike from Fish Tank Barn, Zen Ginger, uh, Kim, Moonstone, with your super chats and super stickers, I appreciate that. Oh my goodness, this resuming is going to drive me nuts now. Let me get to the bottom of the chat real quick, make sure I haven't missed any other highlighted comments. My super stickers, I have to open that so you got to close it. Uh, yeah, platinum pearl scales would be awesome. Uh, Recon says, sorry to shameless plug fish room fever, but when you get a chance, uh, for some reason that didn't highlight for me, but I still caught it. I have a new video that will go out in an hour and 15 minutes. I'd love your feedback if you get time. Absolutely, it'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, Zen Ginger, thank you for another $2 super sticker with the purple thanks heart. Love it. Thank you very much. So, yes, uh, all, all of you all, very generous. You know, not just with your money, but also with your time and your kindness. Where's Jules? Jules is in there. She's down there. She's asking about that uh, albino bike shirt that just ran out of picture. So I do still have a couple other things to unbag, but I think one of them I'm going to have to set a tank up for real quick because those uh, Black Bee Caradinas are in RO water. Um, and I'm going to keep them in our our O water. I have nothing currently set up with our O water, so I'm going to have to put them in something for the night. Um, and they're going to go tomorrow into the Aquascape tank that I brought home with me from the Aquascape competition. Beautiful things right here. Yeah, anybody that didn't see it, we got to take these home if you competed in the competition. Yeah, so I mean, there's a, a lid to it and the lights built in and all that. And my skate got moved around in uh, transport. And there goes the gimbal again. Perfect. I think, you know, that's when it's time to shut up when the gimbal keeps trying to tell you to go away. Um, yeah, so the only other thing that you may have missed because it was at the very beginning, we've got these little plecos here. Can't recall the name at the moment. But super awesome, hadn't seen them before. We've got three bags, about 30 plus uh, Black Bee Caradinas. The pair of Super Red Bristle Nose. And then she's yelling at me, the Bishers. So they were to the very beginning. I'll show you a shot of them. Make sure I haven't missed any questions or if anybody wants to throw in a question, be happy to answer those. Um, let's see, these are the saddle by shirt. There we go, we got a couple sitting up front. Let me move my fat butt so you can get another shot of all the next We got those guys, and she has asked for one more shot of all the new cichlids. Again, that's just with the room light, not with the actual tank light on or anything. So. Lots of pretties for her. Trying to get away from the glare. I'm gonna have to add the uh, power, the, the canister filter that I won. Thank goodness I won that from the raffle. I'm gonna throw it on here, but it's already got one canister, that monster hang on back, and then both of those power heads going for lots of decent flow on the back side, but they have some places to get out and not be stuck in the flow, so. All right. Let me scroll through here real quick. I'll give y'all some fish to look at while I scroll. Uh, yeah, Zen Ginger has got it. Um, or Teresa said it, sorry. Uh, on Q's channel, she did a two-part video of the actual auction. I'm number 96, so if you wanted to watch that, listen for 96. And Haley giving me a hard time about trying to buy fish. It was oh, fun. This right here, if you can see the one I'm pointing at, with the blue coming up on a spin, that is my Regal Blue Mix. 
And so is that guy that's hiding. We just moved him down so he could grow out a little more. I don't remember what they called that one. The LFS gave me that guy to grow out. I don't remember the name. Sorry. These are the new lemon heads. And that's everything. Alright, so unless we have any questions, I want to say thank you again to everybody for coming coming in and hanging out. Oh, and um, playing Oscar. Thank you for the questions. Thank you, Mods, for doing the awesome things that you do. Uh, go check out Priscilla's video she just released, and then Recon's got a video that's coming out here in, I think it's an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, all the super chatters, the Zins, Mr. Zen, and Mrs. Zen Ginger, thank you. Uh, Moonstone, Mike from the fish tank barn. If I missed anybody else, I'm sorry. Um, a little tired and a little wired. Uh, Priscilla, how many fish did I buy? It, it's about a hundred individual fish doing the math on it. Um, and then all the shrimp and stuff. So, I appreciate you all. Um, I'll give it just a second for any more questions because I know there's that wonderful 30 second or so delay from me saying that there's to you all asking. Well, James, James, uh, you know, yep. All right. I don't see any other questions. Again, thank you. We got 36 people watching right now. 45 likes, and you all tossed 46 dollars out in super chat. So Miss Fever here can get some more food uh, for all these beautiful <laughs> cichlids. One last shot of those Ranger plecos since they're hanging out at front, and you don't see those guys a whole lot. But again, thank you all. Go check out Priscilla and 338s videos they just released. Uh, so Priscilla says, almost looked like James was naked, Miss uh, FRF. No, <laughs> not yet, but that's why we got in the live stream, because I love y'all, but I love this girl more. So I'm going to jump off of here, spend some time with her. I've been gone all weekend. Uh, I will get some videos out to you all starting tomorrow. So thank you all again. Have a wait, great... Wait, 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 wait. Oh. They're coloring up and they're oh. out. Uh, I'm getting yelled at by like... the producer. Sorry. Only the producer Damn. would interrupt my outro. Look how pretty they're getting. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. And those are the ruby reds. And Henry's not beating anyone up. So hey, hey, when you can continue That's your outro. All right, the there we go. All right, no, you're good. I'm glad we got to show that. All right. So until next time, just remember if you're gonna catch something contagious, make sure that it's fish room fever, guys. Have a great night. Love y'all.